Hello everybody and welcome to another list video. Uh, today we're going to be doing 10 cards that make me salty, mad, angry, annoy me, irritate me, all the words that are just negative. We have seen the list of cards that make Travis angry. We have seen the list of Bryn, uh, cards that Bryn would never play. So today it is time for my list for 10 cards that make me salty. Uh, so let's dive in. By the way, if you don't know, Salty Justin comes out a lot on stream YouTube. He's a very angry guy. He gets very grumpy. And uh, so you'll know it. If you watch me stream, you'll know who this is. For some reason, I don't get angry when Travis and Bryn are there. And I think it's because when you play on Tabletop Simulator, you press a button and then you draw the auto fail and you're like, button bad. But in real life, when you draw the auto fail, you're like, oh, shucks, I grabbed the wrong token. Oh, geez, what the heck? But digitally, it's like button bad. Bad button. So, 10 cards here. Let's see what the first one is. I had a hard time with, like, the last half of my list, so don't take these ones too seriously. Not a lot of cards make me salty, but Cunning, I get it's over here. Cunning, I, so there's something about this card um, where I've, I look at it, and every time I look at it, I, I'm just like, but why? Number one, I don't like resources. I like to play with no resources because there's a card that gives me plus one to all my stats. If I have no resources, that's a positive. Uh, and number two, like, why am I going to evade? Chat YouTube, you guys know what I think about Rita. Right? Like, I don't like evading. And I'll just, like, my book's already so high, I'm never going to use this card. So, like, this is to me, like, a skill card that when I look at this one, I'm like, it, it just... Why am I ever going to play this card? Why am I going to play it? Even right now, like in like my big money cards, there's just better stuff to run. Like, why am I going to run this lady with a gun? She doesn't like... The art's, I guess, kind of cool. She looks rich, and that's why she has a gun in like three book, but I still just can't relate to this card at all. I just can't. Are you sure it's not because you play it once and it was bad and you're mad about it? That might be it. That might be the thing. I might just have like a bad memory. I was like, this card poopy? No like. Are you sure it's not because you have to put like infinite work into this in order to get something out of it that you can just get with like a red card? Yeah, that's also probably part of it too. <laughs> I feel like I'm at a, I feel like I'm at a therapist right now. <laughs> you guys are like my my therapist and you're like, Justin, let's really strip down and like why you don't like this card. It's not just because of the lady on the art. There's something happening here. <laughs> Let's go beyond that. Yeah. You know, you're right. It's just a lot of work for something that you can just get <laughs> with a lot less work. Yeah. That does feel bad. Yeah. I can see why you might be angry about that. <laughs> thank, thank you, Travis. I feel heard. I feel heard. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one on my list here is we have Intrepid. Okay. Like... I'm just like... This is another skill with a guy with a gun. It isn't a... Make, what if all of them were skills with guys with guns on them? Wouldn't that be a wild list? Anyway, this card's it's like... The therapy thing a lot more irrelevant. <laughs> what do you see in the in the splots, Justin? I see a person with a gun on a skill card, and they're like, oh. Um, <laughs> this card's just like... Not good. Yeah. Like... I, I understand, like, the idea behind it, where in the Mythos phase, you're supposed to use it to pass a test. You use, and then you're just like, oh, all right, now I get plus one book, plus one fist, and plus one foot. But, like, I just, it's another card that I just, I just don't, it, I just think it's bad, and it makes me mad that I'm, like, never going to play with it. Like, by choice. Like, I'm sure at one time I'm going to be like, hey, a video where Justin tries to make Intrepid work. Hello, LOL, 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 right? But, like, I'll never, like, choose on my own accord to play this card. <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure it's not, you're not mad because it's just, like, a red card, except the red yeah. card gives you the effect all the time? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's what about it. This is also what I was going to say. Because are you sure this isn't, you're not just mad about this? Because it's something you can just get playing red cards? Whoa. Oh my god. My, my whole worldview is cracking wide open. This is basically, this is basically just bad Dark Horse. Yep. 
Whoa. All right, let's see what I discover on this next one. Oh, this one's easy. This card makes me feel like an idiot. Um, like, I see this Colt Vest Pocket, and I'm like, cool, a gun. It costs two. That's super cheap. You spend ammo to fight. You get plus one fist, plus one, dam uh, plus one damage. This is all really good. And then I see at the end of the round discard Colt Vest Pocket. And my brain is like, okay, so I could use sleight of hand or I could like build a bunch of actions. And then I, th I, the more I think about it, it just makes me feel like an idiot. I feel like it's a puzzle that I can't solve. And maybe there's nothing to solve, right? It's just a gun that you play with literally the two things I mentioned, but it just makes me feel like an idiot every time I see this card in my binder. Cause I'm like, Oh, I wonder if I can make this work. Then I think about it for a bit. I get overwhelmed and I go build a Dark Horse deck. <laughs> uh, this yeah. card might be okay in like Skids or... or uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's his face? Tony? Tony? Yeah, Tony would be good in Tony, yeah. You get extra actions out of them. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think the card's bad. It just makes me feel like an idiot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the upgraded one fixes pretty close to every problem that I personally have with this card. Where the discard is also tied to the fight action. Okay. So once you've triggered the fight action, you will discard it at the end of the turn, but not before that. Oh, that makes yeah, that makes it a lot easier right? to. So you can you can just run it out. Yeah. Cool. All right. And then hold on to it until you want to shoot things. And, and then just go like, blah, 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 Yeah, blah. yeah, yeah. Right. Then it, it makes it a whole lot easier to use three or four ammo out of it. Mm -hmm. I do think it's a very fun. successful green weapon, though. Like, even the level zero one, I think it is very successfully green in its design. Uh, but because it fits in such a small, like, peg, it, like, it's like a peg into a hole, it's a lot harder to see play. I don't even remember what, what else. Oh, yeah, this one. Specifically the foot version of Empower Self. Um, so I've, I've put Empower Self in a good... I've put it in, like, I think, like, three of my decks now. And every time I put it in my deck, like, especially I've seen it in, like, it was in, like, my Akachi draft deck. Every time I've played Empower Self, I only draw the foot one. And I'm like, I'm here for the fist and the book one. And I know I could just put in two as, like, myriad, right? Like, you don't need to put them all in, right? Uh, at least I don't think you do for these ones. But I'm just, this card just makes me angry because I have so many memories of being like, oh, sweet, I drew Empower Self. Oh, crap, it's the foot one. If I play this, Travis is going to make fun of me. He's like, <laughs> why are you putting the foot one into play? So it just sits in my hand, and it has two foot symbols. So I'm, like, basically looking at a hidden card from Carcosa, being like, take one sanity every time you look at this card, because you're just, like, you, you're, you're like it's a dead card in your hand. <sighs> yeah. Why are you putting in the foot one in your deck? Travis, I don't know. I don't know. I make mistakes. I'm here to learn from my mistakes. And this card just... You gotta shift, you gotta shift the shame from thinking I'll make fun of you for playing it to think I'll make fun of you for putting it in your deck. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Just it ha That feeling has to start at the binder, not in my deck. I agree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to go there. I'm like, hmm. Will Travis make fun of me if I put this in? No, it's a deduction level two. We're good to go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what's next? Oh, vantage point. Card's bad. I don't. Now we're starting to get to the ones that I think are just like outright bad cards. And I recently played this one, and I was like, I moved into a location. So like, th this is something that we're gonna go through, especially at my number one. I hate cards where you have to like have so many things line up in a row in order to have it work well. And then the effect is just kind of like fine. And I understand people are going to say in the comments, oh, but it's a level zero card, Justin. It doesn't need to do everything, right? But like, I still want my card to do something, right? And like this one, it's like most of the time, uh, you, you get it, you move to the location, you lower the shroud, and then it's like, all right, I'll move a clue. I don't even need to do that. I'll just leave the clue here. And then you're just like, uh. And this, uh, very recently, on a, I was playing a campaign and I had Vantage Point in my hand and I revealed a location. I was like, oh, I can finally play this Vantage Point. Then I read the card and I'm like, this is bad. <laughs> like, why am I going to do this? 
And then, like, it gets even worse when you get later in a campaign. Like, your first time through a, a, a campaign, you shouldn't move as your last action because you might move into a location that spawns an enemy. But as soon as you know a campaign and you know you grab the clues off the location, you move to the next one, it makes it so that vantage point is ultimately just useless because, like, why? Well, like, wh why? There's just better cards you can run. And I'm, I'm, like, literally getting, like, mad at the card right now, which makes me feel like, you know... <laughs> You need to breathe. You need to breathe. Yeah. I feel like every time I read this card, I find out again that it doesn't work the way I think it does. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't like that. <laughs> you know, Brent, I also don't like that. No. All right. Predestined. So this card is one that I was uh, looking through my binder recently and also while I was doing this, uh, trying to find my list for this. Uh, this one here, it's like, I'm already now at this point getting pretty soft on Take Heart. I don't like running Take Heart anymore. I think Take Heart still is good, right? Like, I still think Take Heart is a good card. And if you ran Take Heart, I wouldn't be like, all right, that's, I mean, like, okay, you're running Take Heart. But I think Take Heart's still very good because it's still card draw, it's still resources, and you're still going to fail tests. I don't like to get in my game plan, I'm going to fail a test. And uh, this one is like the, it's just, if, uh, I understand you might need bless tokens in your cup. I understand that. But like, you can already run the already inefficient keep faith, right? Like, you're gonna, uh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run this test. I, f I passed my, my, will, my will test in the, in the mythos phase. I'm gonna try to investigate here with this predestined. And then if you did, you get like the Brin effect and you pass this one, like this card like already did nothing, but it does like double nothing with this one. Just like adding two bless or removing two curse tokens is just, this card I'm like never gonna play. You'll have to like, like someone watching needs to like donate money to the PayPal, a specific amount, or I am never gonna play this card. I just think it's like, really bad. It's really bad. Yeah, no, it's like, just... I mean, like, I also am a little bit angry at this card, because <laughs> it is just a waste of a card for the red bless archetype. Yeah. No, you see, you play it in the Preston Always Be Failing deck, <laughs> and then you throw it at a test that you're going to fail only to realize that it actually hasn't done anything but make you discard a card because drawing blessed tokens doesn't do anything because you're still pressed in fair. Yeah. <laughs> it can do something if you're playing the the Red Covenant. Yeah, the Covenant, yeah. <laughs> like, the Red Covenant's really good, but this card, like, is not going to, like, do enough to, like, make it worth running. The art looks really pretty. I'd use it in a thumbnail, though, like, in high high res. Mm. It's very nice art. That's, like, the Agreed. one thing. I mean, but also, like, let's be real. The art doesn't really, like, fit <laughs> with the card either. But let's not do that. Uh, next card here is Sharon's Obel. Uh, I know I'm saying the name wrong. It's an inside joke that just, you don't need to correct me. Don't worry. I know I'm not saying the name right. But um, Justin will keep saying it's wrong until enough of you tell him. But he's not going to tell you how many people need to tell him. <laughs> Let's make a little like a little sub game. Yeah, you might be the one. Um, it could be. It could be. This is the only card that's actually on all three of our lists. Um, we all don't really like this card, and my reasons basically echo what um, Bryn and Travis said. It it's just not fun. And then the person who is running it, uh, you now like they expect. Hey, you gotta protect me, right? You gotta help me through this because if I die, I'm gone, and all that juicy experience I earned over you, you saving my my butt, makes it so that it has. You have to like, you gotta keep me alive. It's like basically like you're holding the other players hostage, and you might not think that, but like that is kind of like what it is, right? Because if we're in a situation, it happens a lot at our table. Usually, Bryn is gonna die, and Travis and I are like, okay, see ya. <laughs> um, but in that case, if Bryn had, uh, had uh, Sharon Zobel, or like even like if Travis had Sharon Zobel, now we have to feel like there's that extra pressure that we need to save him, and maybe we die in the process, but Travis gets out okay, or Bryn gets out okay. Like, that's not a fun gameplay loop, right? Like, that's not fun to do that. I already put that kind of pressure on you guys. Yeah, it's, you are, you are our, our Ryan and saving Private Ryan, for sure. 
<laughs> yeah, if if we don't get you out, bad things happen. Uh, uh, I'm Adam Dry. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry, Adam Goldberg, whatever the guy is, the guy who gets like slowly. <sighs> That's me. I have a bad fate, man. <laughs> All right, uh, my number two. I'm, de- I'm definitely Tom oh. Hanks. You are definitely Tom Hanks. Um, <laughs> yeah. My number three. This is my number three, not my number two. Is let God sort them out. Uh, this card is very not good. We've talked about this before. Um, there was a recent run where I was using some decks that I found on Arkham DB, and one of them was a really cool Mark Harrigan deck. And they were running to let God sort them out in it. And I thought my thought process was, I don't like this card, but I'll, I'll run the deck as is with the upgrade plan just to like see the perspective on the card because everything else in the deck seems really sick to me, right? And I was like, I'll try it out. Mark Harrigan kills things. There's some deep ones here. Uh, they're like, there's going to be like times where that, and it just, it does nothing. And it, it makes me so salty when like someone says no, let God sort them out works. My this one guy on my team got so much experience from it, right? But like that's like looking at only the positive times and then remembering those positive times. Like why? Like how I said like where uh, I get mad whenever I draw three auto fails and I'm like I've been drawing auto fails all day, but then I draw like three blessed to, uh, three elder signs and I'm like I'm a happy boy. I am so good at Arkham, right? You're only remembering the good shit. Like what's well, like it's just. No, no. I, I played it. I held it in my hand. It did nothing. I eventually used it on a fi- uh, to help on a combat test because, like, I've had this in my hand all game. It's done nothing. I'm done with it. I'm sick of it. Let God sort them out. No, I'm just throwing this in the dumpster, and I upgraded it out immediately. <sighs> and I'm sure you guys don't disagree. <laughs> no, I definitely agree. Yeah. This is where Travis is like, well, actually, <laughs> devil's advocate. Uh, my no, number yeah. two. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my number I two. Don't ever, I don't oh. ever want to put bad overpower into my deck. Yeah, half overpower doesn't like, replace itself. Half overpower doesn't draw a card? What the hell is that? <laughs> Seems like a bad time. All right. My number two, I'm expecting people in chat, in the, in the YouTube comments, sorry, to get mad at me for this one. Uh, in the thick of it. I do not like this card. I do not like what it does to the game. Um, I do not like that uh, from what I've heard from all of the discussions and all the thought process, that in the end, this trauma doesn't actually really matter um, because you're, like... You just get ahead and you win. All that aside, I am of the opinion, and I'm very much on the outside with this opinion, that recent campaigns give out too much experience. I do think that Dunwich gave out too little experience when they were just starting out, but when we're going into the final scenarios of um, a campaign and our decks are hitting like 50 or 60 experience... Like, that's just too much. I think, like, 35 is, like, the sweet spot. But, like, lately, like, when we did our recent Innsmouth run, like, I know I was, I like, I played si- I played Silas, and he's a survivor, and everyone say, Justin, you're a survivor. But even when I'm playing my Mystics, I eventually get everything because they have so much extra experience that it doesn't really even matter. And this game is just giving out too much. And now I look at this card and, like, Obviously, the design is, like, they like where the experience is at, and I know I don't, so, like, this card, I just look at it, and I never want to play it. I don't like it. I don't like also cards that, like, I understand that Arcane Research is very good, but I don't like what it does, where it makes it so that, like, you have to run it, because you, you like, you just get so much value out of it that if you don't, you're, like, gonna lose. Same with even Down the Rabbit Hole. I don't like cards that you need to find a reason to not put in your deck at deck building. Things that don't affect the game, but just the construction of your deck because you need to do it and then it kind of warps around it, kind of sucks. If this was something that you could only, like if there was a limit, like get this at the beginning, you have to spend it on a permanent. So then like there was a reason that's now like, you could get like, like, 
because I see like the idea behind it is that like people say they grab and this is going to make like we've talked to Travis about this in the thick of it into versatile into one of the new permanents from Edge of the Earth, right? Like if it had a bit more limit, I'd be a little bit softer on it, but I just don't like what this card represents for deck building. Strongly agree. I think this card's shit design. <laughs> It's sick. You can get the level one versatile. <laughs> uh, yeah, shit, bro. <laughs> but I am uh, of the opinion. I, my opinion has changed. Where I was like, the trauma isn't like like this trauma could kill you. But then thinking about it more, I'm like, this trauma is like really not a big deal. I think it's just uh, I don't really enjoy it, uh, and I understand people do. But salty, Justin, no like. And then. Number one, a card I've hated for a very, very, very long time is Oops. It's not much more to say. Level zero Oops, I've always just looked at this card, and you can find videos back from when we first started doing list things, over uh, 99 list videos ago, uh, where I would just talk about this card and how I hate it. It's the perfect example of... Um, the cards that you need everything to go really perfectly to actually work in your favor. And then, like, even do, even when you do, like, this could have just been, like, a lucky in your deck, right? Uh, the level, the upgraded version is better. And even when there's more, even when campaigns are starting to give more enemies out, or, like, enemies that have um, the uh, swarming keyword, right? Like, you can make all these cases, and I still just won't run level zero oops. Level the upgraded oops, it's not bad. It's not bad. But even just the level zero, I've always looked at this card. I've always hated this card, and I'll never like this card. Yeah, yeah. this is another case of uh, bad overpower. <laughs> but better than let God sort them out's overpower. <laughs> yeah, literally twice as good. Yeah, literally twice as good. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, card's, like, not good. No, no. Upgraded one's fine. Upgraded one's fine if you did want it, but I still think just, like, Lucky's just better. Yes. Yeah. Especially broken level three Lucky. Sweet. Well, those were ten cards that made me salty. If you agreed or disagreed with any of them, please let them know in the comments. And remember, one of you might be the lucky winner who tells me that I'm saying Sharon wrong. So you don't want to know what the prize is. You might have to, like, go to the underworld and do a few errands, but... It'll be a good time, trust me. A uh, huge thank you to everyone who's watching and to all of our patrons. You guys rock. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, have a good one. We'll see you next week for our 100th list video. Isn't that kind of wild? 100 of these things. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you guys then. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.